We could fill this whole show talking about St. Louis's soccer history. But right now, St. Louis's soccer present is just as impressive. Our town doesn't just show up, we win at every level. Corey Miller has a closer look at our prowess on the pitch. Winning isn't everything, but it certainly doesn't hurt. And in St. Louis, 2023 may be the greatest season for winning soccer in our town's history. Let's start at City Park with the professionals. We finally get an MLS franchise and all they do is make history. 17 wins, most by an expansion team in league history. They finished first in the West, the first expansion team to ever do that. They sold out every single home game at City Park. They have the goalkeeper of the year. Oh yeah, and where were they supposed to finish again? That's right, dead last. Everybody thought uh, we are gonna be a disaster in that season. I think it was a great season. Now City is a model for others to shoot for, and a team that set a standard for what this club could be in the future. No one knew where it's gonna go and how it's gonna develop, but what this has developed into is, is something that you know many clubs can uh, be jealous of, and, and I'm proud to be part of this club. When you look at all the home games that we had, every game a sellout, you know, it makes it an exciting place to play, not only for, for us, but for other teams too. And I think it's gonna be an intimidating environment again next year, and we're looking forward to kind of improving that home record. The precedent, hopefully, that we set this year um, is something that goes way beyond us and, you know, gives the people of St. Louis uh, what they deserve. And, yeah, I mean, those wins this year, the happiness that we brought to the city, um, yeah, that'll hopefully just go for years to come. Turns out winning is contagious. Just down the road, two women's collegiate programs have added to the excitement. All the SLU women did was win their conference tournament for the sixth straight year and get a number six seed in the NCAA tournament. Coach Katie Shields has built a juggernaut with legit NCAA championship hopes. I believe there's only one other program in the country that's won six in a row of their conference. And so it's uh, it's definitely a celebration, but there is an expectation with the, the group we have and the momentum we've built about expecting to be here on this day and then the opportunity to, to win. Wash, you know something about winning an NCAA title. They did it in 2016. This year, they weren't just good. They were darn near perfect. The Bears went 15 games before allowing their first goal of the year. By far the longest streak in college soccer. Now they're in the playoffs looking for more hardware. All the work that we put in over the summer, uh, preseason and every day, it's, it's really paying off. And we're looking forward to continuing to build on uh, what we've done so far and looking forward to see how far it can take us. Yeah, we're still not done. Across the river, SIUE has a proud men's soccer program who has won a couple national titles as well. This year, the Cougars finished the regular season as the only undefeated men's team in Division I, with the most wins in the country at 14. Now the postseason push is on to put this year up there with the great Cougar teams of the past. You know, there's been two national championship teams here. There's been a ton of great teams that have advanced in the NCAA tournament and won league titles. Um, you know, we're very proud and honored to be a part of that rich history and tradition, but we, we really don't want to compare. We'll let the others do that for us. We're just trying to put our best foot forward. So is that enough winning for you? Bottom line, St. Louis doesn't just talk the talk when it comes to soccer. Our current teams can walk the walk better than any city in the country. Reporting for Sports Plus, I'm Corey Miller. Tonight, the Washington.